Uncivilized Vitality, this is uh, part two of the um, poncho pitch kit. So uh, I didn't bring a walking stick or anything, and we're out, my wife and I are in this park, and it's just kind of a walking field, and there's not a lot of uh, structure, so I'm just gonna use this stick. And one thing I wanna do so I don't damage my poncho is crown off the end of this stick if I were going to place this under my tarp or under my poncho. And just come around and crown the sharp edges off. And you go around a few times, do a slightly better job crowning that off. But it just takes off the sharp edges to protect my protect my poncho. So um, Let's say we're just gonna put up my poncho pitch kit. Hopefully nobody will come down the trail while we're doing this. We're gonna use this tree right here. So just like uh, in the last video, we've got these little shock cord prussics holding the whole package together. We can turn those in. We're gonna set those down here and they're bright colored so I don't lose them. We open our poncho up and we've got our components. We've got four plastic ABS glow-in-the-dark stakes, two larger titanium stakes in case we really need to secure this, some shroud lines uh, with that night eyes glow-in-the-dark. There's four of those. They're about two meters each. I won't need all that. And a uh, hank of uh, paracord. And then, of course, our poncho. Let's start first by running our ridge line off of uh, this handy tree. So I pre-tied a loop. You can go around a tree or an upright post. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Just come around, reach through that pre-tied loop, and pull a bite through, run my cord, toggle through there to just cinch that up. Now I can run this paracord out to another tree to make a ridge line, or I can run this down to the ground. Let's say I want to make a little ridge line to attach my uh, poncho to. So I'll put this stick here. Probably could have pounded that in the ground. We'll go up to the top. We'll come around. We'll tuck this under and just throw a clove hitch. There are other ways, quicker ways to do this. We're going to clove hitch that guideline out to the stick. And then what I'm going to do is use my two larger stakes. I'm going to come out here. I might even use the end of the stick to pound them in. And I'm going to put them in to the ground. Oh, about a foot apart. And then I put my stick that I've clove hitched up here. I'm going to run that down sort of between the stakes to make a triangle. We'll run that down to one stake, over to the other stake, and then I run that back up to the stick. And up here I can use this to sort of traction that out. And then I'm just gonna wrap around a couple times, wrap around the stick, and just half hitch that to one of the, one of the guidelines. Just a slip half hitch right there. So now I've got a fairly stable uh, ridge line that's held up, sort of freestanding, and I can use this to put up the rest of my poncho. So I'm going to unbuckle my poncho. Then I'm going to seal off the hood. I'm going to make sure that the opening of the hood is facing downhill. poncho over my ridge line if the wind will cooperate and there's a couple different ways I could attach this to the ground so <clears throat> set those up to the side. now you know what we'll do without the shroud lines so I'm not trying to untie all those we're gonna use my little uh, shock cord prussic holder soft shackle thing. I'm going to slide that tactical toggle through 
carabiner, or sorry, the grommet on the end of my poncho. And for this side, I'm just gonna loop it over that stick. So I just want it to hold there for a minute. And we'll go over here at this end. And we're gonna make a climb heist out of this. I'm gonna keep a little bit of the shot cord and then I'm gonna wrap the shot cord around the paracord. Now this shot cord being the same diameter as the paracord is not gonna hold as well. So I'm gonna really wrap a lot of that around there. Try to keep that nice and flat. Okay, let's see if I can show you. Okay, wrap it all the way around. And then this original loop at the top, I will bring my toggle up and feed it through there. And now I've tied a climb heist knot, which will act like a prussic and not move on that paracord. Now I gotta grab my poncho. So I'm gonna thread this along my ridge line, slide my climb heist knot over, tactical toggle through this grommet on the opposite corner of my poncho on the short edge. I don't know if you can actually see that. There it is. Now to tighten this up, I can slide the climb heist hitch this way and it'll hold. So now my poncho is holding on there pretty tight. If I want to secure this front edge, one of the things I can do is take this paracord, pull a little bit of a pinch through it, set it through that center grommet, and just darn a stake through there. Now I've just sort of attached this at three points along the ridge line. Grab our last two stakes. Come down here to the end of the poncho. Use the little hook in the grommet. Drive those into the ground. And now, whoop, in relatively short order, we have attached Oh, oh. our poncho into a small shelter configuration. We didn't even need the extra shroud lines, but I have those in the kit. Set those there, and I'll see if you can, you can see me. If I had to, I could get all the way under here and sleep. A slight diagonal, and be under here enough to stay out of the rain. The wind is actually working for me for once and billowing this up to show how much room we have so I could sit up under here. All right, real quick, I know this is gonna be out of order. I just jumped in the middle of the video because I'm an editing whiz. But my, my wife, uh, Carrie Ann, pointed out when we got back to the vehicle after filming the poncho part, I did say bu a bug net, but I forgot to take the bug net with me and show you how to set that up. So this is just an army surplus uh, bug net. It's quite large. It's plenty big enough uh, for me to sleep under or for me and my wife to sleep under. It's got about a three by six foot, a uh, little over three by six foot dimension at the top, if you can see that square. Right? It's got some uh, tie out uh, shroud lines at each of the corners of the top. So it can be cons suspended in different ways. And along the rim, uh, the part that's in contact with the ground, there are a few uh, tie-out rings at each corner, and then this plastic that I usually just fold under and set a rock or use the stake on, it. and then this tucks on the inside. I put my ground cloth down to kind of seal it off. If you camp a uh, tent, or sorry, if you tarp camp or poncho camp in an area that has a lot of bugs and you're going to spend more than a night under that poncho or tarp, like northern Michigan in the summer, um, a bug net is an absolute must. So don't forget to include your bug net. I'll do another full video on different ways to set up this bug net later. Okay, back to the poncho thing. I could cut another small stick and use the hood to hold the poncho up. Well, oh, slipped off the, the um, stake in the back, that's okay. But you can see how this would make a pretty quick shelter with my poncho kit that I'm carrying with me. And that's plenty if I just want to keep the dew off me or the sunshine or maybe a light rain when we're having a little bit of a rest or a siesta. Whole thing will come back down about the same way, so it's time to go. Before we run out of camera, that climb heist comes right off there. Pull that stake out, 
This is why I like the high vis material because as I take my shelters down or kind of police my camp up, I just sort of toss these things on the ground, keep track of them. Steak. Another steak. Get my poncho kind of folded up. Throw that all back together. My cordage, my two steaks. My other steak. Check out some of our other videos on different knots and things because a pile hitch is a great knot to know for attaching to stakes. There's my walking stick. Got my paracord with me, to untie that quickly. Just pull that stake. Get the whole thing free. Quick count, I've got my six stakes, my shroud line. I've got my two soft shackles uh, slash prussic loops. And then I've got my paracord here which I'll quickly wrap up in our infinity coil. Place that loop between my ring and middle finger, and then around my thumb and pinky finger, I just figure eight that cordage. Until I get about, about a foot or so left. Pull that off my thumb and pinky, and just wind the cord around the middle. Now I've made a tangle-free hank of paracord that we call an infinity coil, because it makes that figure eight. I don't know, thought that was clever. Heard that somewhere once. Drop that down in my poncho. Uh, here's another little trick you can do. You can leave your poncho half folded, set your material materials in the middle, your stakes and things. You might wanna um, alternate the points of your stake so you don't poke any holes in your poncho. Maybe just don't wrap it so tight. Fold the ends in like an envelope so that your things don't slip out of your shelter kit, out of your roll. Sort of tuck all that in. Roll it up. Somewhat tight. Grab my little soft shackles. Tuck those around. So now they're serving two purposes and not just, uh, you know, taking up space in my bag. I'd use those as the way I attach my poncho to my ridge line, as prussics or as these soft shackles to keep the thing from coming apart. And then uh, I've got my poncho kit back together with a small pitch kit, self-contained, and then a walking stick or a trekking pole or a tree and off we'd go. Check out some other videos, our ponchos uh, series for shelters. We've got some freestanding ponchos. We've got the wedge, the A-frame, even a version of a cave or a hooch, uh, like a flying hooch. Those are good. I'll do some more poncho videos this summer. Get plenty of opportunity to set up a quick poncho shelter. The recent canoe trip, a uh, cowboy camped out at night in the thunderstorm at 2.30 a.m. necessitated a quick uh, setup of my tarp, my poncho as a tarp. But then I just draped it over me and staked it down and just slept in the rain like that. So. Uh, look out! Those, check out those other videos. Check out the previous one earlier this week about the pitch kit uh, variables and things you can put in your pitch kit. Leave some comments below. Um, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Uh, share the channel. Leave some comments, and uh, that's it.